Whether O.J. is innocent or guilty, we may not know yet, but one thing his trial has shown is how important blood can be. And now DNA testing has come to a Greenville County classroom. News Channel 7's Brad Satin is just back from Woodmont High School, where students are seeing firsthand how even a drop of blood can mean the difference between innocence and guilt. Brad? Julie, it's very true. When testimony about DNA hit the O.J. trial, many of us, including me, really didn't understand what it was all about and what it meant. But now, some high school and even some middle school students are learning to really firsthand the importance of this DNA testing. We have some pictures to show you. Thanks to a $2,400 government grant, students today did a little experimenting. Now this morning they actually put together a fake crime scene where a student was stabbed, evidence was left at the scene, and based on that evidence, students had the task of figuring out who committed the crime. Now they actually did some DNA testing. Because every person's genetic makeup is different, they can analyze the blood at the scene and through this testing determine exactly whose blood it is. It's a unique experiment that's also a learning experience. The biology majors and researchers and doctors absolutely have to be biologically literate when it comes to DNA um, testing, DNA analysis. Um, jurors, some of these kids will someday serve on jury duty and will actually be, have this uh, problem addressed to them where DNA analysis is being used. You can use just a little microliter of this substance and find out if someone actually committed a crime or you know what? It's really amazing. It really is amazing. We're also told they did not actually use human blood. They used some special samples. We're told they're very safe, Julie. A good example of an innovative approach by a teacher to put practical application, you know, into a science project. That's right, and they give a lot of credit to this state as well as a county grant they got to actually make this project happen. Very interesting report. Thank you, Brad Sutton, reporting to us live from Greenville.